Hi everybody, this is Joe. Wanted to show you my garden here in 2021 and uh, the abundance of this garden. There's a bunch of volunteers that have happened and some of these volunteers are trombocinos and this one looks like it's related to trombocinos but it's got uh, some of these beautiful, uh, I'm hoping they'll turn into a beautiful wintertime squash. And down below here, that's some volunteer Malabar spinach <coughs> that comes back every year. It's a great salad helper. Okay, beautiful rudbeckias everywhere. And then this is the Jerusalem artichoke sunchoke. This here that comes back every summer. You make pickles out of in the fall. So I've been talking in years past about pet pole beans. Here's one of the pet pole beans. It's a, an Italian bean, aroma type bean, big flat. Bean. And I train them to go all around these so because they'll naturally want to go up and they're already kind of reaching the limit of this particular trellising. And Joe, how many um, do you plant? Like, like how far does one plant go for a pet pole bean? Well, these are two beside each other, but that's what you see how, how they've done. But one could fill out that much as well. Okay, so then um, here is the main, the star, one of the stars of the garden this year. So I do my squashes vertical. And I don't know if you can see, but this is just one squash plant. It's come out, it's going over this whole trellising system. You can see just, it's just amazing. Huge stem there. And so there's many of those that are throughout this little place here. There's some more pet pole beans. You can see some of the beans hanging down here. Here's a bean that's hanging down. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's there. Move around the garden more. That pole beans. And then here's another big trombocino squash. This is a volunteer. And you can see that coming down here. So this is just one plant? Yes, this is just one plant wow. here that's coming around. It's coming up here and around on the trellis. Wow. And then <coughs> continues more into the, these are more the, the squashes that have, these squashes that I've saved the seed from from several years. And so they've kind of gone back to more the original, their original beings, I think, not hybrid. But they're very hardy and they can handle the vine borers. I mean, I don't seem to have any problems with vine borers here, and we love the squash. It's just great tasting squash. So, um, thank you so much for watching, and blessings on your gardens this summer.